Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Gin with Spearing. Get innovating now with Retiga. Today's topic is the 100E range of large contactors from Alan Bradley. Welcome back, Jen Axon, who is one of our product sales specialists. Uh, we need to sort out that appearance contract for you in the future, Jen Axon. Dressed down Friday today, and we donate a pound for the privilege sporting local national charities. Jenna, contests have been around for over 50 years, and the Alan Bradley 100D was very popular. We now have the 100E. Can you give us an idea of what some of the benefits are? So we've got a much smaller footprint with the 100Es uh, compared to the uh, 100D, so a lot more panel space. Brilliant. We have a consolidated coil voltage range, so no more loads of catalog numbers to choose from, mm -hmm. and a lot less product in your stock room. We've got electronic low power coils uh, that will link in quite well with your PLC and heat savings and energy savings that come with that as well. Oh, brilliant. Let's look at the products in a bit more detail. So here we have the, the 100 e and I've had to put my glasses on to have a little look at it. Um, the, the key thing for me uh, with this video, we've also got a, a quiz question for everyone out there. So at the end of the presentation, we'll have a, a prize to give away, John Axon. That'd be exciting, won't it? Okay. What is it? I'll tell you later. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> so when we, when we look at the the hundred E range, yeah, can you give us um, an idea of the current capacity that the hundred E now covers? Yeah, so we're going from one hundred and sixteen amps on these all the way to one thousand sixty amps AC three, and that's in the same smaller footprint that we have. Okay, and the other thing is obviously the the core voltage at the top. Yeah, it seems a wider core range. Can you explain that in a bit more detail as well? Yeah. Uh, so instead of having multiple options for coil ratings, we've got four with or without PLC interfaces. Mm -hmm. uh, so for example, a twenty four volt AC option was separate to a twenty four volt DC option. Yeah, yeah. They're now the same coil, and that goes all the way through to sixty volts. Brilliant. Okay, so you're holding one product rather than maybe yeah. two, three, or four. Okay, that yeah. you might be holding it in your stores. Yeah. Brilliant. The other the last question I have is all about the migration. So, you know, how can Matika help with migration from the 100D, but also about competition product to the new smaller footprint 100E? So we've got a dedicated team of uh, people uh, mm -hmm. within the industrial controls group. Brilliant. Uh, they would be more than happy to walk you through these and we can help you as well. So yeah, we've got Love quite it. a lot of support with that. Fantastic. Thanks very much. Right, so for those of us that have made it this far, you mentioned those quiz. There is a quiz. Janaxa mentioned a minimum and a maximum current range AC3 rating on the 100E contactors. Send your send the answers to the below link and there is a £20 High Street Pizza voucher that will be winged its way over to you. Support is always available for Ritiko to talk about the 100E and the other products from Ritiko. Thanks very much for your time, Janaxon, for being with us today. Innovating now with Ritiko. Subscribe to the Ritiko YouTube channel today to see more practical product videos and look out for the next Gym with Spearing video. Security Jana, ready for the limousine outside or lunch first? Uh, security to the pizza hut. Let's go. Cool. In preparation for the Rugby World Cup, should we try that Japanese gin? Good luck to all the countries that are participating. Matinee.